like I said last time, the shell is great, but you'll start having a tough time reading your things inside a shell uh, as things start to progress and we start getting a lot of information in our database. So we need some kind of framework that can be on top of the Mongo database to present the data for us in an easier way than the shell. And there are a lot of tools out there, but I think RoboMongo is one of the really good ones. They are starting to consider taking, making this a paid application, but right now they still have a release candidate that we can use and play around with. So go to RoboMongo and download this guy. And um, the release candidate right here is, uh, is just the latest version. So I'll say download. It says, which one do you want to download? Well, I want to download dim, yum, yum, this one, the exa file. It's downloading and let's just give it a second and let's try and run it afterward and see what happens. So the download is complete. I'll double click this guy, the exa file, and I'll try and run it and at least what, let's see what happens. Do you want to install it? Yeah, I want to install it. Uh, I'll do next and I'll do next and I'll do install and it starts installing. Installation is done. I'll run the RoboMongo and the first time it pops up here, let me just remove this connection because I don't think you have that. It's just because I installed it and used it before. Um, if it pops up with something like this and you need to make a connection to your RoboMongo and it's very, very cool because remember the connection to the local host was 27017. So you pretty much just press create up here. They're up here hiding by the way. I press create to make a new connection. I could give it a name here calling local MongoDB. Any name in there, you can put anything you want. It's on the localhost address. I know that because if I go into my Mongo database here and when the, I, I launch that one, let me just shut it down and launch it again to show you MongoD here. It pops up and says, I'm looking for connection on port 27017 on the localhost. So I'm going in here, I'm picking localhost and I'm writing 27017 and that's already there. We don't want authentication yet or SSL or anything. We'll do that later. So I'll just do a test here and it pops up and say, well, there's access. So it's available. I'll press save. There we go. I'll go in and I'll press this local Mongo now that I just created the connection for. I'll say connect and there we go. My user wishes are here now as an actual database with the name of collections and here I have my user collections. Under there if I press view documents I have all my users here and if I press the small document tab here it'll show it in an actual visual representation that people can read. Let's try use this in the next lesson. See you next time.